I'm Richard Socarides. I'm from New York City, New York. My father was, his name is, was Charles Socarides, MD. He was, you know, the founder or one of the founders of the, of the school of psychiatry that believed that homosexuality was a mental illness and that it could be cured through psychotherapy. And he was a New York psychiatrist, quite well known, uh, had a you know, thriving practice, wrote in uh, 1967, maybe 68, one of the early uh, psychoanalytic treatises on the issue of homosexuality called The Overt Homosexual, which I do believe, as I recall, was dedicated to me and my sister. So it was with this background that he became quite famous. CBS News did a very uh, now well-known, uh, 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 like 60 Minutes type special called The Homosexual, in which they filmed him in his class that he taught at Albert Einstein Medical College on the treatment of homosexuality. Homosexuality is in fact a mental illness which has reached epidemiological proportions. I don't look so much like the old him, but uh, if you look at that film a little bit, you can kind of see the family resemblance. It's kind of, kind of a little scary. My parents were divorced when I was six, six though, and he moved out, and I first lived with my mom. And, um, and I missed him a great deal. So when I was about 13, uh, I moved back in with my dad. And we lived on the Upper East Side on 78th Street in a townhouse, and his office was downstairs. So there was this, uh, uh, you know, on, kind of on one level, there was this kid coming out. On the top level, there was one, this kid coming out. And on the bottom level, there were these people who were going to be cured of their homosexuality. His, his idea was, you know, they should be treated just like any other neurotic. A couple of trips to the therapist, they should be just fine. You know, he would occasionally ask me who I was dating, and I would say, you know, kind of try to avoid it. By the time I was in law school, like all of my friends, most of my close friends knew. And uh, I was in therapy at the time, and both my sister and my therapist said to me, they said, everybody who does this, it, you get to the other side of it, and it's great, right? You know, everybody who does this, you come out to your parent, and, you know, even if the parent is like a little weird at the beginning, they realize that their relationship with their own flesh and blood with their offspring is like more important than this thing and they get over it and that I think is like a good rule for everybody um, and, but I was suspicious I said like you know mm, I might be the exception to this rule but finally one day um, uh, I made arrangements to come see him in the middle this is the middle of the work day uh, uh, to see him at his office I sat down and I said dad you know I think this is you know something that we've known for a long time together but I'm gay and uh, you know we have to find a way to uh, be more honest with each other about this and he, he he had a tendency for the dramatic he was angry but he certainly wasn't surprised and angry and he was like kind of looked surprised so I kind of said I'm gonna give you some time to think about it to take this in and uh, and I left it did not this it did not last a long time and it did not have a good ending at that moment um, and and I just let it sit for a while a relatively short interval of a couple of months in which we didn't speak to each other passed and then he sent me a letter and he sent me a beautiful letter uh, handwritten four pages in which he basically said uh, I'm sorry I behaved so badly uh, I'm sorry I got angry you're the most important person to me in my life, and uh, uh, I love you, and the only thing that's important to me is your happiness. And if this is what makes you happy, I want to support you, and we'll just figure out a way to manage it. Now, that was a great moment. You know, the letter was a great moment. Um, you know, it was not always that easy going forward because he did not, you know, he did not change what he was saying publicly about the treatment and cure <laughs> of homosexuality. When people um, uh, ask me about my dad is, uh, right, what, what's the first thing they say? They say, you know, did he ever try to cure you? And it's like an obvious question. Um, uh, and the answer is no. I mean, it just, it literally never came up. He never once said to me, uh, you know, I have an idea, I have this theory, and we can get you some help for this. You know, it's quite sad because we, as, you know, as a kid, I had a relationship with him that was terrific. There's a lot of warmth and affection between the two of us, 
and uh, and we were never really able to. Well, we never came close to rebuilding that, but we had a relationship that was you know based on honesty, authenticity, integrity. Uh, at least I, you know coming from me. <laughs> Uh, so it was much better. You know, my story is is you know is no harder nor easier than anybody else's. It's just you know it's just my story. It is a little stranger than most, uh, and it's kind of like a it's kind of like a wow. You know, it's it's uh, so you know it's like just part of who I am. Yeah.